The next time you see the FAMU Rattlers take the field, they will be under a new head coach. The acting head coach now is NFL superstar and defensive coordinator, FAMU's own Earl Holmes. You know, I've been around for a long time. Not too many guys can say they played in the NFL for 10 years. You know, and I use that. I use that. All this experience that I have, you know, I just try to share with the kids each and every day. Play like that doesn't come along, but once in the blue, and to you know study under him, to have that type of tutelage, to be able to learn from him each and every day, it's been a blessing. And I definitely thank God for putting him in my life because he's really made a difference. He really made me into the player that I am today. On the play for the Rattlers, that's number 52, Brandon Hepburn. Besides eating, sleeping, going to school, and uh, using the restroom is pretty much pretty football. <laughs> so. That's that's what it's been, and I love it. First things first, he's a big dude. Um, coming in here, I knew he had went to the league from here, so he was um, pretty much a very good player. And I made my decision to come to FAMU. He was one of the people I talked to. I mean, I came up here. It wasn't even on an official visit. It was on an unofficial visit. And I mean, um, he basically had everything laid out for me. It made me feel like I was at home. So um, we have a very good relationship. My feelings are going to be somewhat different and uh, a little bit more in depth uh, as far as my feelings. Uh, uh, so I was very excited and uh, proud, you might say. Assistant head coach George Smalls was the defensive coordinator who saw Holmes' true potential during his sophomore year. He understands the advantage of having Holmes on the coaching staff. Where well, I can see it, it benefits the young men uh, because you try to bring those experiences as far as real life experiences to them uh, as a coach. And that's what we all try to do as a coach, to put our players uh, in the best position to win, also getting them the information and the technique and the knowledge in order to play the game so they can be successful. So, you know, he brings that whole total package. I'm enjoying it. I, I, I love the kids. The kids, you know, I want the kids to see. I mean, one thing about a coach, take a player where he can't take himself. So I'm just trying to take these kids. We shoot for the stuff. Yeah. It's great to have a coach that that's that expects a lot out of you. You know, it's great to have a coach that is able to not just put himself into it emotionally, but also is a great strategist. You know, this guy has his PhD in the game. Just um, I'm just spending to bring in some very good recruits because, like I say, um, I was one one guy that he brought in, so I know what type of guys he like. He like to bring um, some very good guys in here, and um, just a lot of discipline. I mean, I think that's that's what we really need. Although Holmes is the interim head coach, many people have high hopes that he will become the full-time head coach. And according to the athletics department, the closing date for applications is December 11, 2012. With as much experience and passion for football that Holmes possesses, players rejoice in the thought of him securing the position. Well, I think that would be, it would be awesome. You know, my endorsement is fully behind him. I think he's the man for the job. And, you know, I just, I just pray and hope that, you know, uh, the trustees and whoever are involved in that decision make the right decision. You change lives. When people call you back and say, thank you, it's worth it. You know, it's worth it. You know, and to change somebody's life for the better, uh, that's what it's all about. It's not more so about you. It's about what you can do. How do we get back on top? You know, and it's just, just again, like I talked about earlier, it's building lives. You know, don't happen overnight. But it's, uh, it's a good group of kids, uh, good group of kids, a lot of talent. Just, you know, some things we're missing, we can, we can correct. We can correct now. They're coaching mistakes, and, and, and we can build from that. But I, I promise you this, you know, success is, is, is right around.